Exile Umbra, Default Stygian, we got Explosive Sigil Daedalus, Rage Arcus, and Sapsarath. Mind Collapse, Energy Siphon, Prism Retrieval. Primordial Size equals Buffet Stacks? Dude, he would be unplayable. Be very bad. Hellpact and Umbra is cool. I like that. That's what I like to see. Ah, oh, gee. Do I want to pick Superfood or the good option? Hmm. Think about it. We could play Frostbite onto Superfood and then have him transfer the Frostbite onto our own unit. One planet can be used effectively. What are you talking about? Awoken has an infinite with Hellpact. You can also not pay 20. It's like worth like 25 gold in not having to upgrade Vent. Likes 3 is not good. Further reduces unit size in battle, like if Prism Retrieval had minus X. Is that a yellow? A oh, full moon. I like that usage of the emoji there. Very innovative. Gold star for that one. Have to select if aggressive edible is not available? Depends on the uh, secondary claim. I've actually never not been offered aggressive edible, I think. Always aggressive edible? I don't think I've had to answer that question yet. Understandable, Plink. You guys are having sweaty hot? Dude, it's very, it's very cold today. We're having a very cold day up here. A lot of, uh... That's a big boy. A very large lad. Cold today, says the northerner. Hey, look. It's cold. Uh, I took three damage because I was busy frozen lancing the boss. Go for some coldness. Hmm. Just change the temperature. Doesn't the summon card increase their HP? Oh, prism? Prism retrieval? I don't know, we wouldn't want that card to be too good. We wouldn't want a pickable X cost card in the uncommon spot. That would be ridiculous. Face prism, good. Ice storm this early? Sure, it's fine. I don't think there's a lore explanation for why Primordian goes into fucking rave mode when he's about to die. Dude, it's like, burn bright before your final moments or some shit. Probably. Multi strike? Ah. Crucible Warden is maybe the best one? I'm not gonna complain. Neo, hello. Nice ninja copy pasta. Uh, are you okay with what happened? Imperfection of a craft? Not taking Shadow Eater. It's true, I didn't pick Shadow Eater. You caught me. I have Plink. This combat should be free. Burning bright like a diamond. Ah. Is that Rihanna? It's Rihanna, right? Shine bright like a diamond? It's definitely Rihanna. You don't have to answer the question. I answered it for me. Never heard of this ninja guy. Ah. you considered hearing of him? He starts dunking on him with his own words. Dude, I love, I love those ninja tweets just because they're, they're fucking funny. I really, I really like those tweets. They're very, very funny. Yeah, the dude from time- I'm not seeing enough movement. That shit's tough to watch. 
play plink up here frozen lands down here get him plink look at that plink performed average Steam-powered giraffe has a good cover of that. Ooh, I have not heard of steam-powered giraffe. Cranberry, you didn't ask me the question, by the way. It's probably because you're playing car soccer. Two five XL starting cards have random in them. Yeah, randomness good for the game. I'll take making of a morsel. Crypt Builder, no, no offering token, no frozen card. I like it. Shark, good. You have to ice storm, but not plank. How many additional hits do you think you would want from plank before you stop thinking it's a bad card? That's a good question, actually. Uh, I honestly think it's probably. Th it's it's hard to say because the the interesting thing is because you can give ice storm a plus 10 and it hits five times you can assume like i don't pick ice storm to kill backline right i think it's i'm not sure you could like without just turning it into ice storm because with Ice Storm, you pick this card and you just give it a plus 10 and then a holdover, and then it does 55 damage to a floor every turn, right? Which is enough where even if it just hits the heavy five times, that's still a good outcome. Having Plink, even if it has plus 10 hit the heavy twice, isn't a great outcome. Good question, though. I'm gonna grab Silophyte over Shark here, I think. I'm gonna grab Solo Fight here. Ice Storm, Ice Storm is the original attuned. You're correct. He is very hot. However, not hot enough here. It's true, he also is shark. Uh, find you a man who is both hot and shark. Ah. I'm gonna go right. Yeah, that's bad. Titan's Claws is also not good. I guess sometimes it's better down the line. So... Here's the thing, Alec Construct is good, but then he becomes bad as we get further on. But I think that there's a little uncertainty on if we actually defeat Daedalus. Let's, let's think about this. Construct is bad because Plink, is, we can't feed him consistently. So... I think I don't play. I don't. I think I don't pick construct because I think that. Yeah, I don't take construct. The, the question becomes: Do I pick this other crucible collector? And I think the answer to that one's also no. I think I'm okay without taking anything here. Watchman LTE now. Yo, do we have quality options tonight? Hey, let's go. We're closing in on getting, uh, oh, what the fuck? I'll just do this. Yeah, we're closing in on, uh, the viewership requirements to apply for partner. At first, I was like, oh, am I gonna apply for partner? I don't know, but... 
uh, then I was rem reminded that you don't get quality options if you're not partnered, you know. When we X5 flank? That's a good question. Wow, X5 flank, am I right, fellas? Aha! <laughs> hey, this is like the worst draw I could imagine. Because the idea here was I was just going to play Primordium, have him get eaten, and then pull Icy Scylla fight through Prism Retrieval. That's not good. This is uh, suboptimal. Primordium can't eat morsels. Dusk, thank you. We'll, we'll see, right? Will Twitch deem me worthy? Who knows? We're okay, I think. We're okay to just drop Primordial. I guess I could just... Nah, we're just gonna drop Primordial. No Prism or Channel Song, discard it, have no other unit. Mm -hmm. Ah, both space visions. Uh, right on time. Going on, KZ, no? Only one hit data, so I, I got I got ready to be mad. But it was okay. Only one hit Daedalus. I cancelled my anger. Anger stopped. Excellent work. Three Ember Drain runs in a row? That sounds fun. Kinda gross, but fun. Alright, Scumlord. Good luck uh, getting your clams delivered. I hope that uh, you do not clam up when the delivery arrives, if you will. I don't necessarily need Scylla Fight, I guess. Thanks, Mindfuller. Very cool. I mean, he's pretty close. We just gotta feed him some pulls through the plinking. We gotta get him hooked up with the plinking. Cyberston, you can see? Hell yeah. Let's go. Hey, where's my plink? Plink! In my hour of need, you betray me! Plink, how could you? I trusted you, Plink. I can play one. This isn't punished, it's rewarded. Yes, Seraph is a- uh, The real betrayer in this game is the developers for making me play with this fucking card. Thank you, Plank. Very cool. <laughs> uh, I have not watched any interesting series lately, Cyberstein. No. Has anyone been watching anything exciting? Cranberry's been watching. Hey, I'm good at the game. Cranberry's been watching uh, Lovecraft Country, I know. He's busy uh, doing car soccer. However, perhaps he has something else to say. Dusk, you were watching uh, Lovecraft Country as well, right? How... Is there any more? Where's that wins me the game? Nah, dude, Ratch wins me. Furnace tab comes a little short. I see it there. You see it there? I see it there. Now... You do with double heavies? Uh, still fight.
How do we get molded? No, 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 no. Okay, follow me here. It's really hard because we're at 29 cards. Let's do, first, let's audit. We got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, 11, 13, 18, 19. We have 19 cards? It's, it's hard. It's hard. So here's, and we, to do this, we would need Beast and, I guess, Shroud Spike. We need Shroud Spike. So, it's possible. We could also do it with Beast Shroud Mitosis, but if we remove, three, four, five, we need to remove 10 cards. If we, if we remove 10 cards from the deck without adding anything else, except for Feast, and try, uh, ten, no, we don't need Feast, we can do it with just Shroud Spike, we can do it with just Shroud Spike, yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 cards, find Shroud Spike, we then can do an infinite. It's a low cost of entry as well, I'm fine with it, I think. Really heavy on racism and bigotry. It's, you know, not surprising, I guess, but hopefully it's a good. I'm seeking out my own suffering. I have a title to uphold. We gotta take double draw. I am the guy from the YouTube that does the infinites. It's very unlikely. How do I get excited? Look, I I hate it, but it's good content. We gotta look for removals. Uh, we also need remove consume on that shroud spike, right? Don't forget that. And then it's <laughs> and then it is. Uh, let's go right. So instead of removing train steward, since this infinite is in my mind, I'm going to remove. Move. Uh, cards that stay in the deck and are bad, such as open lands. This pulling a lot of YouTube premium revenue out of you. <laughs> the, it's wash time base. Let's go, dude. Easy. I got just got a. This is just gonna be a two-hour run. No big deal. Get the plus ten. We get the minus one on making of a morsel. Permafrost is like a removal that is. It's 120 gold removal, which is worth it on a card that I don't mind permafrosting also. Something like... This card. Man, I know what's going on. I'm gonna remove two planks now. And the other thing about this is, even if we don't get the infinite, uh, the, it's still good for the run. Morsel Master Crucible War. Is Morsel Master worth it here? I think it... Oh, it would... It adds another line to the infinite. We could do it off a of feast now. Oh, we could do this off a of feast with Morsel Master. <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably this is gonna be maybe the most painful infinite i've ever done if i pull it off oh fuck i have plank this trial should be fine like yeah uh. I'm just, I'm, I'm thinking about it, right? I'm plinking about it, if you will. And I'm just recognizing that it's just going to be really awful. Primordium only has three health. I'm going to have to use Offering Monument to tank. No, I have to use Morsels to tank. It's okay. Uh, Offering Monument just goes here. It doesn't actually matter if Offering Monument takes damage. Fun fact. We don't care if it takes damage. Take my one draw. It's Morsel Master. Huh. Weird. 
What's the infinite? All right, I'll, 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 so here's how it works. Assuming, uh, when I talk about infinites, uh, assume that you have your entire, you have, you have your entire deck in hand, right? All We have 10 cards and they're in hand. The infinite plays like this. You put Offering Monument on the floor, you put Morsel Master behind him, you then, on a different floor, on either, like on a floor where the Offering Monument isn't, you play Making of a Morsel, generating a Morsel Miner, you play the Morsel Miner on the floor with Offering Monument, creating two of them, you then feast those, enhancing the Offering Monument by 10 health, drawing back to Making of a Morsel, play Making of a Morsel, play the Morsels, feast the Offering Monument, repeat forever. There's a few different ways you can do it. We can also do it with a shroud spike on them on a single morsel. However, that would get bad with morsel master. We'd have to put him on a different floor if that becomes the plan, and we also need to remove consume for it. But that's how it works. Six damage into master, so that we get plus one energy next turn is pretty worth, right? An infant with offering totem cycle life, dude. That's another one that would be really cool to do. I think. It'd be really cool to do a cycle of life combo. You just need you need a pyrestone housing for it, right? To make it or not? Uh, was it not pyrestone housing? The other one. I don't know what it's called. I see silicide. I guess just goes here. It turns out offering money and ruins everything as a card. How strange. Kind of messy. So if I, uh, doesn't really matter that much right now, I guess it's nice for the spell weakness here. Take the energy. Losing health onto Offering Monument doesn't actually matter. We don't really care about that. Because uh, when you incant it, it takes off max health. Lightstone case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. One health. For now, we just play like it's a normal. A few extra incants out of this boy from the morsels. We pretend that I didn't just lie, outline one of the worst plans you've ever heard in your life. And we just play like the run is a normal run for now. Cool. Seraph is guilty of patent violation. Why is Seraph guilty of patent violation? What did Seraph do to violate patent laws? Look at this, Frozen Lance saves the day again. What a great card, Frozen Lance. Wow. Thanks, Frozen Lance. Very cool. Everyone talks so much shit about Frozen Lance, but where's Frozen Lance's haters now, huh? They were for Lightstone casing? What did you say? I... and also Pyrestone. Alright, when we see them next, I will take a look. I guess I'll retch here. Oh, there's a there's eight morsels in here. Yeah, do not retch right now. That's right. We have uh, we have to actually think about our retches. Not our dregs so much though. So I need four damage on you. I can mine collab. The plank here. Wow, plank. Great work. Cool plank. Thank you. Here. <laughs> Alright, I'll kill him with Plank. Alright, I'll just kill him with Ice Storm. <laughs> you saw it. I mean, I think I am gonna retch. Getting Primordium back is worth. Even if we take a bunch of morsels we don't care about, getting Primordium back is pretty sick. Primordial Monument Combo. Oh, that could be cool as well. 
Yo, that's... Damn, you could do that with superfood, right? You could, like, if superfood would give him plus 10, you could, like, double feast. Oh god, there's so many. Oh, there's so many. There's too many infinites. Get in there, Plink. Yeah, you could, like, you could wretch feast feast, right? I guess wretch feast feast feast. No, 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 you only need two. Uh, yeah, that would work. You can do some fucked stuff in this game. Oh, God. Okay, so we're gonna put Morsel Master with the offering? I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna not take anything. I'm gonna stick to the plan. Oh, <laughs> wretch. Feast, feast, feast. Oh, dude, I love... Will... Will fade and the east side meltings. Is it east side? It is east side boys, right? Because they're from Atlanta. Lil Fade and the East Side boys. Quick, like for for the actual plan, a uh, quick plus 10 icy cello fight's pretty cool. And a plus 25 onto Offering Monument also is nice. If nothing else, Offering Monument is a 1 space 65 health tank if you never incant it. I'm slipping, am I slipping? What did I do wrong? Is that not? That's definitely Lil John. Lil Fade in the feast side, boys? Oh, uh, you're right. I was so busy thinking about uh, turning east side boys into something train related, I didn't even think of feast side boys. Unfortunate. I dare you, I fucking dare you to give me the spike event. Oh, it's just a another... It's like, it's actually probably right to take a ban. No, uh, I don't think I can afford abandoned stave in here. It's probably right to take the Ember. Although it doesn't turn on until post floor, post Arcus, but again, we're fine against Arcus, I think. It feels like we're not bad against Arcus here, really. I maybe just want to chill. Maybe take nothing. So if we're good against Arcus, I should probably take the Rubble. The stave is nice, but it adds two removals that we are required to the run. And we're already cutting it close. But plus five means that we don't... We, we actually start gaining health if we end up with a spike instead of a feast, right? Which is a lot. That's a lot. That's a big hit. How many cards do we have here? One, two... Uh, one, two, three, four, five... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We only have 13 now. 15, it's, it's tough though. Like it's a 13 that we have to thin down to 9. Or rather 8. Because I didn't count energy siphon. So we still need 5 removals. Which is doable, for sure. I'll take the rubble. Should be fine. Imps are made of ember because important work is just excavated ember with remove con Hmm. What is ember? Like, as a substance, what is it? I'm gonna not take spell shield here, although I do need that money, but spell shield's very scary. I should have space prism this floor.
Why complain when you can just laugh? Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Yo, this is really bad. This is the the problem with having four units withdraw priority. I'm gonna take a big chunk from this tank. Shame. Whoever's in front also dies because he does ten. Uh, I guess we can hit Ice Storm and not get killed here. Mm -hmm. 18 times... times 3 is 54. What's in here? Getting Ice Storm is big. I'm gonna look for it. We hit it. No damage taken. Very good hits. Great work, everyone. Pack it in, boys. Ember's, Ember's just higher energy. Okay. So can... So... In, in your theory here, what you're what you're implying is that Pyre Chomper is just eating other in. That's the takeaway. Pyre Chomper's just eating in. Yes. Okay. Is that ethical? Impical, if you will. I'm gonna go ahead and play the frozen card. We want to cycle back and try to hit. Hey, fuck you. But also, I guess, hello again. There's Ice Storm again. I'm so good at hitting Ice Storm, what the heck? God, I'm good. Doing his best Umbra impression. Uh, a reasonable hot theory. Thirty-two? I can just kill you, right? And then it's 93. <laughs> we'll only take, in theory, we take a max of one. No, look at that. Everyone talks shit about Frozen Lance, and yet it remains the greatest card in video games. It stands to reason that Frozen Lance must just be busted, right? When has Frozen Lance ever let me down? Never. The answer is never. Frozen Lance has never let me down. Isn't that right, Frozen Lance? Say yes or else. I didn't actually do the math on that, I just kind of assumed that was good enough. You win. I think we win. I hope we win. Thanks, Frozen Lance. Yeah, 9864. Yeah, he wins. It's a little close, but once we ratch back Primordium, it stops looking anywhere near close. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we're close, and we're, we're actually like we are just one card away from this infinite being an attainable goal after Arcus, right? As crazy as it sounds. Oh, it's the wrong card. Oh no! It's the wrong rare. Oh. So, taking forever consumed is good, but it's also giving up on the dream a little bit. I'm gonna, we're gonna have to make some sacrifices. We have to make some sacrifices to live. The warden is worse. Warden wouldn't be bad here because warden warden's a lot better now because if he can take multi strike a little easier. Although in the exact same circumstance, yeah, warden's a lot worse there. But we're fishing for that. Uh, we still got that spot open for multi strike. We're close. We're close. Like I can, I can taste it. I can. Oh, I can taste it. 
Now, I just want to take a moment and think about prism retrieval. Just for a second, just think, think with me. Prism retrieval. It doesn't work, right? I think Prism Retrieval only works with Imp. Yeah. Yeah, the card we're looking for is Feast slash Shroud Spike right now. Up to 21? Yeah, the deck's gonna be super thin, so it's fine. Give me those 28 cards. I right, give me the Spike event. Oh, it's the wrong Spike event! Again! <laughs> it's okay, this is a removal. Uh, I'll do it on Plank, actually, here. Oh, Cranberry, hello and welcome back from Rocket Cars. Cranberry, I had something I wanted to ask you, uh, but I wanted to wait for you to be done with Rocket Cars. What is this? This is Rage. Battering Looming. Oh. So Cranberry, uh, I was wondering if you had seen the the name of the new Action Bronson album, which is coming out at the end of September. I was wondering if you had seen the name of that album. A dolphin, yeah, it's called, uh, the album is called only for dolphins. I was thinking you may want to do something with that information. However, I did not wish to push any more than that. Just wanted to make sure you were aware that it had to do with dolphins before uh, we continued on with our day. We do not want to play anything other than my here. No other choices. And I don't really want it. He's gonna do something, all right. Oh yeah? Is it listen to the album because you're an Action Bronson fan? Because I'm actually, I've never heard a song by Action Bronson, I don't think. I also, I've never known anyone who was an Action Bronson fan. Also, he's gonna frig the album, I assume. Uh, not Action Bronson, but Cranberry. Get him, Plink. Wow. Plink. <laughs> Teach him it's bad form to explicitly state your target audience. I mean, it's pretty clearly only for dolphins, though. Like, you don't want to get mixed up. You don't want any non-dolphins listening to the album, you know. What song you did that was good that you listened to, and he seems like a nice guy. He has a bunch of food stuff, right? I would love to clear this floor, but there's a shard here. Uh, what we're gonna do is something like this. That was a mistake, but it worked out. Like it panned out all right, even though that was a very bad play. I don't really think I care if play has its cost increased. Yeah, I don't care about Plink. Not safe for Twitch chat. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, wouldn't wanna wouldn't wanna offend Twitch chat. They're very impressionable, as I'm sure you're all well aware. As I'm sure you all are, in fact, uh, well aware that you are impressionable. Isn't that right, Twitch chat? U W U. That's not where you're supposed. To. Oh well. Can I destroy Plink? <laughs> I am clay to be molded. Uh. <laughs> I 
In the name of an emote, you'd all type it in chat. No, because like, it, it really isn't that way, though, because I tell everyone you got a people arrive at the start of stream and then a bunch of you hooligans are people leaving. Bunch of you net air duels typing out a people leave in a people arrive circumstance. Truly unbelievable outcomes. People arrive, or as basic another people leave the center. Cranberry, I, it is it is occasionally a thing. Uh, if you don't people arrive, how am I supposed to know you're here? However, some uh, members of the chat room have decided that they prefer to people leave. Some among you have posted people leave when showing up instead of people arrive. I wouldn't want to point out any names as to who would start such a resistance movement in our Twitch chat. I don't know who would do such a thing, personally. I can't even imagine it. <laughs> I, I just, there's, there's truly no way for us to know. However, the resistance movement has grown very strong and bold in the last week or so. We may end up in a Twitch chat riot here pretty soon. 12 hour ban? No, because if you 12 hour ban, then they win. They get what they want if they get a 12 hour ban. Oh, the only thing we can do is nothing. Thirteen hour ban? No, no, that's what they want. They want the ban. We can't play into their ways. Hmm, looming dark shard, I see. More like looming dork shard. Am I right? Oh, oh fucking roasted. Oh well, yeah, that's right. If that draws a card, it gets enchanted anyway. Friend, hello. People arriving. As is agreed upon in the Twitch chat ceasefire. Holy fuck, he's dead. <laughs> Get out of my train, idiot. I just- I actually just won that by playing Spell Weakness on him ten times. Wow. Alright. We didn't hit the spike, how sad. It's the wrong spike. I'll still pick it, it's fine. Well... We hold hope. Quickly explain what the run is doing. Oh, it's a shitty infinite that isn't gonna work out. <laughs> so, uh, basically, uh, Silophyte and some good kill spells, plus uh, Incant Totem to tank for her and a Morsel Master to fuel up the Incant Totem with Morsel Miners. And then on the top four to kill bosses, we have Crucible Collector and Primordium, and we have a wretch in the deck uh, puking up Primordium every time he dies, as well as throwing excess morsels up here. And then also apparently we're just sitting here playing energy siphons on floating bosses until they die to our forever consume. But I'll still look for the infinite because even if I don't need to do it, I still want to do it, I guess. I guess. Last chance game. Ah! Why couldn't we have seen this like seconds ago? Oh man. Six embers. The first time in my life I would have seen it. Oh, Dane, have a good night or afternoon. Whatever time of day it is. Perhaps morning. Evening, even. Go all the way on aggressive edible. I didn't even open this. Can we pivot into a different infinite? Hang on, hang on. Okay, everyone. 
I'm gonna need you to join me here. People in the chat watch you. Dude, you're famous. Easy. Follow me here, everyone. So first, we have to do the, the, the deck audit. We got one, two, three, four... Uh, for the purposes of this, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we remove one more and we are there in this theoretical infinite. So, join me on a journey. It's not quite an infinite. Oh, IQRS, hello. Unfortunately, there is no Inu to say hello to. The gears in my head are cranking. Inu finish. Ah. We're gonna roll and then we can think. Okay, we didn't hit it. Uh, it's fine. I can't give anything minus one. There is no card in this deck eligible for a minus one. It's all X cost and zero cost cards and then one ice storm. Uh, he's all right, he'll show up again, I'm sure. Hey, this is a removal. And one of these nights, he's just gonna appear, he's gonna go yas, and we're all gonna go hello, Inu. I hope. Okay, so it's all the only line we have to Infinite Town is a feast now. All we have to do is find one feast. I should not pick Spikes 5 here. Correct? Ah! Uh, Still if I die, but is that that big of a deal? What about the imps trapped in the train walls who do all the math for me? Dude, the impish scholars who've laid down their lives to uh, do math? Very nice. No floating boss? I mean, we do have a super powered crucible collector for the boss. It's a question of how- it's a question of how much damage do I- I, I th think it's okay? I, like, I think it's okay. It's just how much damage do I take from Pyro Wings with spikes walking up on me, right? That's all that we have to think about. The 400 gold is worth, unless it kills me. This is a combat that I- it's six rounds, single Pyro Wings, one heavy and a 15-3, on that wave, Silophyte dies. Oh, unless I feed her morsels somehow? We can try that. But one heavy and a 15-3. A tank and a pyre wings. Two, one heavy and two 15-3s. That's the only wave I'm worried about, I think. I'm okay with this trial. An affiliated capitalist clan is unaffected by Armageddon. Yo, the merchant, the merchants, they don't give a fuck. What do they care about Armageddon in the end times? Honestly, who gives a shit? Sell shit to the the people who will buy. It's easy money. Space Lost Top 4 doesn't matter that much. We still play the same. Uh, space Prism. I should actually Space Prism this floor, I think, just for the draw. Is that right? Nah, I should put it up here. We do lose two energy here. Oh no, we don't. The spike saves us the energy. That's right. Cool. Uh, I could also... I can't freeze her, but I could... I, I guess it's fine. Just drop her. Second space prism up here is... fine. I don't need it here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Play the Ratchet's a free draw. Energy Siphon number two, it's a free draw. Making of a morsel. 
doesn't quite kill you. Then by a fool. This is head. This is a train steward, right? Uh, probably better to. Yeah, do that. The thing that makes this deck, uh, that just die. Okay. The thing that makes this deck okay is the fact that Forever Consumed is insane. I don't know if you've noticed, but Forever Consumed is a nutty card with Hell Pact. That was a good turn. A Purgatory Monopoly. Purgatory. Ugh. Mikumanu, what's going on? I don't- when I don't need to incant, there's no good reason to. We want to rebuild Offering Monument's health right now. We go through a period of expansion and then withdrawal. That was real. This is a period of uh, withdrawal where we do not play out- uh, or we do not use up his health. And then we go through uh, the periods of expansion where we do use up his health. I'm gonna wretch. Blech. Hi from the Twitch. Oh, yo, thanks for checking out the stream from the Twitch. Glad you decided to check it out. Very cool. Hey, this deck is really uh, sleek at this point, right? Oh, it's... We have all our cards, right? We're at... We're at 10? We're at 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 3... Yeah, we're at 10. So, uh, there, there's a line somewhere in here. I mean, we win this run for sure. We have won this run. We have won this run. For sure. But now it's a matter of how... How crazy can we get it? That's all I care about now. How absurd can we go? New one here from the YouTube was willing to reveal yourself so you can go over the dolphin related rules. Oh yeah, if you're from the YouTube, Cranberry has to tell you about the dolphin based rules. Not talking about the Miami Dolphins either. <laughs> this is an infinite. <laughs> Oh, I dare this fucking game to give me feast. Buffet okay, champion counters on more, so no, you can't duplicate him with anything interesting. You can't spike him, you can't do anything cool. I should consume. It's like a short-term infinite, so it's not an infinite. It's like a, like a fake infinite. Honestly, I maybe just remove Scylla fight so that I can just play Energy Siphon more times. Huh. What a dumb run. Feast and mitosis. Now nah, we just need feast, right? Just feast, it only costs us two to get there. So anyway, the boss is dead. Yeah, just another normal lethal over here. Good fight. I guess we could kill Seraph like that as well. Ah. Uh, how sad. No feast on the entire run. How sad. Oh, how sad. <sighs> My dreams are over. Is the intended use of offering totem? Ah, <laughs> is it? Facial seal misclick? No, I didn't want it this time. That one wasn't a misclick. I'm just, I'm trying to think of what we can do from here. I think we want... We want... Right. 
Now that we have ourselves in position, we can just burn train stewards. It's fine. I don't think there's anything we can find that turns this into a run. Build two. It's sad because like I know I'm gonna win and yet I feel so sad about it. There's no doubt that this is a W. And yet. Cuddle beard. There's the remove consume. <laughs> the game taunts us. Oh. Well, we could have done this, except like <laughs> we could have done glacial seal, remove, consume, excavated ember. <laughs> no. I mean, I guess this is good. Is it good? Uh, it's bad, right? One, two, it's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it only eight? Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's nine. No, it's ten. Okay, I miscounted. It's ten. Minus one? You can't minus one X cost cards. <laughs> Start a new game, you just got here? Yeah, sure, don't. Hang tight. Almost there. We've consumed space per. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. We can't generate energy forever. Like, we don't have a forever here. There's no, like, you can, we can do a lot, but we can't do forever, so why bother? Let's just win the game, I guess. Oh, God. Yeah, without an infinite here, does anything really matter? No. I could also lose if I whip the straw. Uh, it's... If draw equals bad, uh, FF. Uh, boring old winning the game. It's possible we lose this. Depending on this draw, we could see something bad happen here. Also, it's Sap Seraph and she's Silophite. Don't forget. Yeah, this isn't a good draw. I mean, it's good enough, I guess, Train Steward works. See what we're drawing into. Ah, there he is. Right on time, offering money. Never late. Alright. Let's get to work here. Uh, uh, ice storm. We have a finite amount of health to work with here. Uh, we don't want to mess it up here, more or less. But I want to find... Alright. Uh, you should heal. Yeah. Throw this here. Yeah. Acceptable. We need to start stacking health on him, I guess. I mean, I guess we can just win the game, right? I guess we just win. Oh, uh, we, we can't... Don't disrespect, because Silophite gets actually dropped to zero. I probably should have uh, put her on a different floor so I could play more morsels onto Offering Monument. However, it is too late for that change. Unfortunately. That's why I always to kill the backliners. I mean, we have, like, so many options here to kill backliners. We have a lot of good options to kill backliners here. And we can also cycle the entire deck on turns where we need to. We're, we're pretty... The run's pretty done. I just want to try and save uh, health on Offering Monument. So that we can use it on turns where it really matters right now. It's three morsels? Two and a primordium. 
So we want three miners in the wretch pool. Also, uh, don't go swimming in the wretch pool. Trust me. You do not want to go in there. If I'm cocky, this can slip away from me. For sure. I mean, it doesn't look that way, but it can slip away from us here. So we may as well take it seriously and win. It's mostly just about preserving health onto the totem, right? That's all we have to think about is making sure the totem doesn't get sniped. And yeah, I should have played... Because every turn where I lose more than 10 is bad. I should have killed off Icy Silphite. I forgot this was Sap Seraph, so Icy Silphite is worthless here. I didn't think of it. As long as we drop... We may as well just continue. This one, this one could have been maybe a little wackier if I had put my mind to it. Alas, it is not to be. Not today, anyway. Just use this to hit Wretch. Just to hit Wretch. Because Wretch is a good hit. Although I... Yeah, we just killed the Miner. It's fine. Take my spell weakness for this round. I guess it's kind of cool to see Energy Siphon in a super thin deck like this as a plan to kill floating bosses. Kind of neat to see that, I suppose. It's something, at least. Yeah. How many... what do we have here? We have seven off of you? Let me just go ahead and stack here. Not super worth, but it's not bad either. I mean, he's dead at this point. I've killed him. I've done it myself. However, we got 12 stacks of spell weakness out. It's over. We won for sure. But like, you know. Turns out a really thin deck with two kill spells that are super cheap that just crunch enemies is good. Who would have thought? I certainly could never have imagined this. Probably just because it's unimaginable. Alright, Sarah. We didn't hit it this turn. Shard Tail. Mm. Inconceivable. That'd be an, another good way to put it. Inconceivable. Oh, feed the totem to Crucible Collector. Oh. Ah, oh, we don't even get the one shot. Why even play the game? Only 3240? God. Fuck. Why play? Only a 3240 from my cru crucible or con forever consumed onto Seraph there. The game is unplayable. I had all the pieces, I could have finally done it. Oh, it's so sad. We could have checked another one off the list of infinites to do. No feast, no shroud spike the entire game. Oh, it's so sad. Oh, it's so sad. I guess the hell pact is good, though. Alright, get ready, it's time to vote.